Yes. <laughs> what are you laughing at? <laughs> oh, it actually took us so long to get here. Um, it was literally like five hours and Sam did all the driving so I was completely lazy in the front seat. So bless him, he's feeling a little bit like achy right now. So we've just got here anyway, it's going dark, but we love our little caravan. I'm just gonna give you a little bit of a tour. Here's our little balcony, which is so cute. As you can see, it's going dark now. Little kitchen, which is so cute as well. We've actually got like two bathrooms as well in this caravan. And this is our room. Yep, with a little wardrobe. And this is our bathroom in here. It's got full central heating as well. So, I mean, it's not even, it's not cold or anything. It's really nice and snuggy and warm. So I've got a little table and chairs here for breakfast. Sofa to chill out, TV. We've got another bathroom here. It's another bathroom. And, whoop. I mean, if you were to live in one of these places, this is like your utility. Uh, so you'd have a washer there, obviously, but this is just to keep all your little bits and pieces, do your laundry and that. So yeah, and that's where the boiler is. And then we've got two extra bedrooms, which we aren't even going to use. There's one, it's just storing some stuff. And the other one. There we go. So we're going to pop to the shop now, pick up some bits for breakfast tomorrow. And I think we're just going to have food here tonight and just chill out and just relax and just watch some TV and just chill out really. So yeah, so we'll see you all in the morning. Landing pool, you wouldn't believe it, would you? We're at the makeup, so what do we need to pick up? I've already got that. Everything's a pound, by the way. And what else should we get? Not the polish, got the eyeliner. Uh, purples. Having dinner with babe. Mm. What can I have at Slimming World? Approved. Might be going for this or the risotto. Obviously, I'm a vegetarian, so not only a couple of choices. God, I can't even see. We've been going around pool. Um, it is snowing today, yeah, and then we didn't really think that it would because obviously yesterday was 12 degrees. Now it's snowing and it's freezing as well. So we're just heading to the seaside part. It's obviously we're not going to be in our bikinis, obviously not. But uh, yeah, we're heading over there. We've just been for some food, just done some shopping as you've seen. Um, and uh, yeah, we're off to uh, just look at the seaside while we're here. And then I think we're going to head back to the car and just do a little bit of a drive round. So yeah, so enjoy! We've 
just got up on Sunday and oh my god, it's so snowing so much. Oh, look at that. That's just outside our patio door, so so we're heading out to get some breakfast. <laughs> it's literally snowing. <laughs> It's a two-person game! <laughs> oh, wow. That's a week one. I did in uh, Norfolk. Look at that accuracy. Grab it, grab it, grab it, grab it, come on! Hey, we're at um, Bournemouth Pier. It is pretty cold. Yep. Enjoy. Can you believe that? Zoom so, into that. Just pick them up. It's like one degree today. Um, so yeah, a lot of the pier is shut. So we're obviously just heading around town to do a bit of shopping. And uh, yeah, this would be a beautiful place in the summer if any of you guys are interested. Um, I think we would like to come back in the summer when it's really warm because the beach is beautiful. Um, it's a little picture just at the entrance of the beach in the summertime and it literally looks like you're on holiday. But here it is in the winter. Hi guys, we are finally back home. Um, we actually came home last night. We decided not to stay until, uh, it's Monday today by the way. We decided not to stay till this morning because the weather was quite bad and um, we had to be out of the place at 10 anyway. So we thought we'd make a head start while the traffic was quiet. Um, it had stopped snowing by then as well. Um, but on the way home, it did start to sleet a little bit. So, but we did get home in good time. Um, and we managed to wake up in our own beds this morning, which was really nice. Um, so yeah, I'm just gonna finish off this vlog. So while we was away, you may have noticed that we um, ended up doing a little bit of shopping because you know, that's one of my favorite things to do. So yeah, we did end up in in Primark. We also ended up in TK Maxx. So let's start with the Primark. So yeah, I actually picked up one of their hair dryers. Now I'm not sure how good this is. This was eight pounds. Um, this is gonna do really good for me because we've got quite a few little, like couple of days here, couple of days there, weekends away, where you don't wanna take your big hair dryer. Um, and because we, we like the caravan holidays. So it's for those places like the caravan, like we did this weekend, we've got another couple coming up where they don't have that sort of facility that I'm gonna take my little, my own little travel hair dryer, which is gonna do really good. Um, so yeah, it seems to be um, fast drying, flawless finish, two speeds, three heat settings. Um, it's got a cool shop function as well, which is really good. So yeah, I'm gonna look forward to using that. From the same section as well, I did also pick up their because I actually left mine at home um, and I have, didn't end up using these in the end but um, I let my hair dry naturally but um, I left mine at home and I thought oh god I'm going to have to go and buy some straighteners but I thought you know what I'll pick these up and they're actually a uh, two in one straighten and curl so they actually clip together here and actually make a curling iron as well so that's like that's really good and it's got some straighteners they were £10 and, and again I'm not they go to 180 degrees which I believe is the same as GHDs used to go to. I do have a pair of those as well, and mine go up to 180. 
but I do prefer my Tony and Guy ones, which were way, way cheaper. They go up to 230 degrees. Uh, but these go to 180, which is adequate because you don't want to be singeing your hair or anything like that. So, so yeah, I'm going to look forward to using those. Um, I did pick up these pumps um, for the summer. These were cute. They're in grey, which is one of my favourite colours. Um, and these were £3, which I think is an absolute bargain. And they're so cute. They'll look nice with, like, some shorts or you know something like that i thought they were really good for the price at uh, cheap really cheap um i'm always having to defluff everything um jinx constantly likes to wind himself around my legs and it's because i wear black jeans for work or you know i always wear darkish colors um in jeans um i always end up with cat hair all over me so i actually picked up a a lint roller um it's quite a cute one as well because it's got some it's uh, actually nice, pretty, shiny stuff. Yeah, so you get the lint roller and the refill. Um, I believe, I believe it was a pound. So yeah, so that was a bargain as well. I don't have loads of like blouses and stuff to wear for work in the summer. And it does get really warm in our building. And I always, I don't kind of don't go for cotton because I'm not the best at ironing. I, I literally hate ironing. So if I, if it's something that I don't need to iron, then that's brilliant. If I ever buy anything that needs ironing, I ended up wear, I end up wearing it once and then I never wear it again. So to be honest, I try and avoid um, anything that's going to crease that easily. So I, bet I really, really like these kind of like chiffon, chiffon -y type tops. I mean, they are pretty see-through so you're gonna have to wear a little cami under it but they've got short sleeves um they're quite loose they're quite long as well so you can have them neat neatly tucked into um your jeans or what are your trousers or whatever you've got at the bottom and um yeah and they've got short sleeves and they look quite smart as well with the gold buttons and everything um so yeah so i got those um, they were £8 each. I got one obviously in black. The same top again in green, which I also really like the colour of. Um, yeah, so I got those two for the summer. I ended up chipping a little bit of my nail when I was away and I forgot to take a nail file with me. So I did pick up, and I've used this one, um, a pack of nail files. You actually get one in the little container um, and three spare ones as well for a pound that's really good and that's quite small enough that it'll fit in your handbag so yeah so i picked up this um little it's sl slightly on the short side it's one of those little croppy ones but it's in gray and um, it was seven pounds so it's got a little hood as well um and uh yeah so i bought that so I thought that was really cute. So that was everything from Primark. Last but not least, let's just finish off with the TK Maxx. I do like the brand Pineapple. They do quite a lot of stuff in there, but I did pick up this like oversized top. It's obviously got um, Pineapple um, Survival of the Fittest on the front here. This looks a bit creased because it's been shoved in a bag. But yeah, that's really, really nice. It's, I got it in a size medium. Um, you can have it like off the shoulder because they're quite oversized. Um, but yeah, that was a bargain at, um, this was actually 9 99 from TK Maxx. Um, I also picked up, this is again sort of like a um, sporty sort of top. This is, an, a, it's not a brand that I know, but it's RBX brand. And I picked it up because I really like the back of it. It's got like a razor style back, but it look, makes it look like it's two t-shirts in one, when it, but it is only one. Uh, but yeah, so that's the back of the top. And um, that's the front, nice plain front. It's got long sleeves, but I really, really liked it. And I really like the colour as well. It's kind of a greeny sort of colour. Um, and that also was um, $9.99 as well. This, which I'm not sure is going to crease or not, but it's really nice. But yeah, cute little belt on it. Um, nice little button up. It's got little like roll up sleeves, um, cute little stripes. It's in like a soft cotton that's obviously not a creasable cotton. So yeah, got a little pocket on the front there. Um, yeah, and that was $12.99. It's by the brand called Passport, not one that I've heard of. But yeah, really liked that top. Um, I also picked up, because I'm really into the sort of denim-y kind of dresses. If you saw my wish haul, I'll put a link above. Um, I do like denim-y type dresses. So this one was also there. This is by... Cambridge Dry Goods, which I believe is an English brand. It's got little like cuff sleeves. It goes to my knees, so it's a really good length and I can wear it for work. 
Um, but it's a little denim dress like that, which is cute. It's got a couple of buttons at the front and a little belt as well. So yeah, they do such a good array of like bags and purses. Obviously I have got uh, so many bags already, so there was no way I was gonna get any more bags. But yeah, I did need a new purse um, because mine was getting a little bit tatty to be fair. And I've had it a few years now. So I picked up this um, Carvella, um, which is, uh, um, if you don't know the brand, that's by Kurt Geiger uh, purse, which is in a lovely like sheeny, sort of goldy shimmer with a like nice pink like crocodile type top here um yeah and it opens up into section in the middle so you've got a section in the middle here for coins and then you've obviously got bits here for notes and cards um and the same on the other side there you could put coins in here as well if you wanted but i'd probably put coins in the middle um, and that was 19.99, which I thought was a real bargain. It should have been um, 39 pounds, so yeah, it was half price. And it's still got the little sticker on the front there. So yeah, bargain. I also picked up this lovely hoodie. Um, yeah, it's got the um, Beverly Hills Polo Club emblem on this side. Um, it's got a nice little number eight on the arm there. Um, and it's lovely little, it's lovely gray color, nice little pocket. It's got a little um, sewn on little disc there as well. Um, cute little, little jacket. It's got this lovely fleece inside. Um, yeah, and that's gonna look really nice when I go off to my dance class. Right, so we're down to the last thing. Um, and I could, I really wanted some trainers. Um, and I think Sam's going to buy me some for my birthday anyway, which is next month. But I did see these um, in TK Maxx and I could not resist them. They're so, so cute. Um, they're these ones. They are also uh, by Carvella. Um, and they are, they've got these lovely little white pumps. As you can see, they've got like beautiful stud detail on the back here. Um, it's also got studs on the, let's just hold one of them up. It's also got studs on the front um, here. Um, nice little brown inside there. You can see that they're by Carvella. Um, yeah, and they look so cute on. They're such a cute little shoe. Now they should have been 80 pound, uh, but they were uh, on sale in um, TK Maxx for 39 pounds. So yeah, I couldn't resist them as well. So yeah. So that's everything um, from our little weekend away um, for Sam's birthday and also our little shopping haul. Um, I hope you enjoyed the video. If you want to give me a big thumbs up, that would be brilliant. And if you want to subscribe, you can do it in the link below. Thanks to everyone for watching um, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.